Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, hopefully you guys are joining me back here at part two. Um, I'm literally just picking right up from where I left off in part one here. But I'll recap a little bit. I showed off my TVs here. My setup for my TVs. Uh, the perimeter of the room. And of course my furniture. All right, which we'll get more in. Which I'm not going to cover. So if you guys want to see back that again. You guys want to see that again. You're definitely going to check out. If you haven't seen part one, please check it out. Uh, so now continuing on from where I left off in part one. Uh, right next to my uh, controller bin here, I have a couple things on the side here of my desk. On the bottom, I have uh, some of my headphones. I have my Bose Quiet Comfort 15 headphones, as well as my Beats by Dr. Dre Studio headphones in black. Uh, now, this is my MacBook Air Super Drive, and on top of that, that black wire on top of it, there you see is my uh, the, the, that's the charging wire for the PlayStation 3 controllers. Okay, and of course you have my actual desk itself. It's all back up so you can get a pan shot of it. You know, basically see what's on it. And also to see what's ab above it right now, which is actually uh, pretty cool. It's like a little collage I made uh, using a little tack board. Just a whole bunch of random pictures and stuff that I actually like. Decided to throw up there. Thought that was pretty cool. Now actually on the desk itself, well, first of all, uh, my book for my new truck I just got. Not too long, not too while ago. It's my 2007 Hummer H3, which stay tuned. I will make a video for it eventually, so you're definitely not gonna want to miss that. Uh, of course, I have my camera, which I I, I use a lot, but uh, for the sake of this video, I wanted to show it. So I I, mean, I use my iPhone to make. I'm using my iPhone 4 to make this video. Okay, so that's my Nikon Coolpix P100. Uh, some basic stuff, cleaning stuff, eye clean, Febreze, you know, all the basic stuff. My keys, which of course, as you can see there on the on this particular key. If you look in the middle, hopefully you can focus in on that here. It says H3. Anyway, now uh, now I have my printer. Um, now I don't have a computer on this desk because I have my, I like to keep my computer on my table. What I'm going to show you next, but anyway, uh, this is my printer. It's an HP ePrint uh, wireless all-in-one printer, which of course does support AirPrint, and I and I absolutely I like. I'm a big fan of AirPrint. Now when I like to take some stuff out of this room on the go, PlayStation, Xbox, or my computer with me every day work as I am, in case you guys don't know, I'm a medical assistant, so I like to carry around a lot of stuff, iPads, medical, you know, stuff. Uh, I do carry around it all in my backpack here, which if you've seen my M11X setup video, then you'll know uh, this is the backpack that I use. I love this backpack, very, very big supporter of it. It's the uh, Alienware Orion backpack. It has very, very good quality material and a lot of room in there to really support a ton of stuff. I just like to keep it under my desk. Okay, and, uh, you know, obviously every room's going to have a little bit of a garbage can, and I have two fold-out chairs, you know, in case I need extra chairs, and for if I want to sit on my desk, you know, as you can tell, I don't have a, a desk chair here, right? so I just kind of leave these in the corner, in case, you know, I need to use them. Okay, now, now down the wall here, we're going to go down the line here, and now you're going to see my little, this is basically my main hub for charging every uh, Apple device that I pretty much have in this room, my Apple chargers, you know, I have a million of these, but this is the one I mainly use, you know. Okay, now there's another uh, there's another cool shelf that I have right above it here, which I'm going to show you a real good view of it. I'll get a pan shot, and then I'll get up close of it. But this is my newly constructed shelf here. I just got this just a couple days ago, literally. Uh, now, on the left, you have the original iPad. And, of course, I'll get in closer so you can actually see it. In the middle, you got the keyboard dock. On the right, you got the iPad, too. In the back, way in the back, you see the Jawbone Jambox uh, wireless Bluetooth speakers. And the iPod Classic, 160 gigabyte, on top of it. So now it's getting it's getting close here, so you can see close up. Obviously, you see the my original iPad here. Uh, it's got an in case book jacket. That's the sleeve I'm using to, to to mount it like that. Now this, is, of course, is the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi video, uh, a, a video edition, rather. Uh, which, if you want to really see that, you can watch my iPad setup video, which is up. Uh, that was my my original one, of course. Of course, I also showed off in that video the keyboard dock that I picked up with it. Now, here is something you haven't seen. This is my Jawbone Jambox, which there is no dock here. I just kind of have it leaning up against, in case you're wondering. Uh, but that's my iPod Classic. It's 160 gigabyte black. And this is the brand new iPad 2. A lot of glare there, I know. Extremely thin. I just did an, uh... An overview and first impressions video of it, so if you haven't seen that, please check it out. My review is coming extremely soon, and of course, obviously I have my gray smart cover. Mounting it up, propping it up like that. 
Okay, now before I get into the last part of the room, I want to show you guys my main table here, which is where I keep my main toys. Uh, obviously, my remote controller is here. Uh, I have my Apple TV remote, my, my Samsung TV remote, and my cable box remote. Those are my three main remotes that I use more than any other remotes, so I kind of leave them out. I don't like to put them in my controller bin. And the other thing, of course, my life all comes down to just one computer, I guess you could say. And this is my brand new, well, not really br too brand new, but it's, it's definitely new. I got it, um, let's see, in January, I, think, I want to say, I want to say January I got it in. Uh, so this is, of course, my MacBook Air. And it's the 11.6 uh, the inch model, extremely thin, as you can see. In fact, I'll even open it up here for you. It gets even thinner. Yeah, extremely thin. Paper thin, I guess you could even say. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, it's the 11.6 inch model, 128 gigabytes of flash storage, and of course, up and upgraded 4 gigabytes of RAM. As you can't, I just, I just feel you can't have the 2 gig RAM one anyway. And now let's get into the last piece here. I'm gonna walk around the perimeter again here, and continue with my tour here. As you would see it, as I see it. Okay, and of course this is the last piece. This is, I'm gonna show you a pan shot of it. Have you kind of seen it before a little bit? Uh, but this is, of course, my boxes collection. I like to save all my boxes of all the stuff I get and put them together in a nice little display for you guys and for myself, I guess. And this is everything. I'm going to, you know, give you a little bit of a tour of this and how I made this. Uh, so basically, here's my 42-inch Samsung TV box, the biggest one in the room. And now I have a couple PSPs. Um, I have an original, once I traded in, and now I have my new one that I actually still have. Uh, this is my DSi XL. The 25th anniversary Mario edition is still in there. It's uh, still sealed. I haven't. I don't really. I didn't, the only thing I took. Uh, the only thing I took out of there was the. Um, um, what's it called? The Nintendo DS. Uh, Mario Kart DS game. But the actual system itself is still in there, sealed up. Uh, this is the Nikon Coolpix uh, P100. Pretty cool camera. I showed you guys the camera before. And this is some of my Apple stuff here. Uh, obviously, I showed you guys my MacBook Air. Uh, the original iPad and now the new iPad 2. And some of the accessories to go along with that. The MacBook Air Super Drive, keyboard dock, in-case book jacket, and smart cover. Uh, so my iPods, uh, I have a ton of them really. The original video, it's still in there actually, 30 gigabyte. Uh, my original classic, the 80 gig silver. Uh, have you guys seen my brand new uh, iPod classic 160 gigabyte? And then my two iPod touches, one on the left here I gave to my dad. That's the uh, an 8 gigabyte version of, let's see if I can get in there on 8 gigabytes. Try and focus on there. There we go. Uh, 8 gigabyte third generation. And this is my brand new one, my real, one of my favorite things I got this year from Apple. Uh, that being, of course, the 64 gigabyte fourth generation iPod touch. Okay, next to it I have my Apple TV, which you guys have seen. Some iPhones, uh, the original uh, 2G, uh, which is a 4 gigabyte version, in case you guys are wondering. Um, original, uh, you got the iPod uh, 3G here, and of course the new iPhone 4, which I'm using to make this video, and you guys are not going to see it. But just so you get an idea here, uh, this is the Verizon one, you can see here. I did pick up the Verizon one, and of course it is the 32 gigabyte model. Okay. Next up, I have my Jawbone Aero, as well as my Jawbone Jambox. I keep my Aero in my car, so you guys haven't seen it. Uh, some old phones, my headphones, of course, my Black Wii, my PS3. Uh, of course, I have my uh, uh, wireless printer, and finally, my 360. So, there it is, guys. You guys have seen the whole room now. Please, if you guys hear my dog barking right now, just try and ignore that dog, that dog because she just goes nuts. Anyway. With that said, guys, this has been my room tour. I appreciate it if you have stuck, stuck with me for both parts. Really appreciate it. And with that said, peace.